Europe eh, body. Uh, this Trey Trey coming through with another video again. Um, I really haven't been back on here in like, I'm going to say like seven days, like a whole week. So I just thought I'd come back up, you know, make a couple of videos for you guys right before I go to sleep. Oh, I'm yawning. Excuse me. But um, thought I'd just come back and make a couple of videos before I uh, fall asleep. So this video right here is going to be talking about. Um, I'm going to be explaining why I never got into the street life. Um, and you may get a little bit of background in me too. But yeah, so I never. Well, you know, by me being, when it comes to being an African American male, um, especially growing up in the urban areas, the hood, well, really, just black people in general, like they all expect you to have this hood, gangster, you know style and persona you got to be a certain way and all of this shit here and you got to be a gangster you got to get into trouble you got to break the law and all this crazy stuff so um growing up you know on my mom's side of the family i had a you know i had a i had a bunch of uncles and you know they used to deal drugs and shit sell drugs and shit and you know they used to you know be in and out of jail in and out of prison stuff like that um me personally you know when I look back at it cause you know when I look you know when I look back at it I ask myself like you know, by me being in the in the hood and me having the family members that I got, shouldn't it be easier for me to turn to crime? Like, how come I didn't go to the street life? Well, I think my answer could would would, would probably be um at that point in my life, like let's say like let's say. 15 we 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 going to say 15 age 15 for example when i when i was 15 at that point in my life i kind of already knew how certain things was going to play out for me like you got to understand, at age 15, I was already in bad environments, going to, going to shitty schools, being around all type of fucked up kids, me not being able to learn, or me, me, me failing a lot because it's harder for me to learn certain shit. Uh, me still being a kid at 15 and not having a lot of food to eat. Um, me, uh, whether it's me getting into, getting into it, getting physical with my mom's boyfriend, my, you know, stepdad, whether, you know, I could just go over it all. I basically looked at it like, you know, like for, you know, for instance, like my mama ain't like, I, I knew where that life, where that lifestyle was going to get me into either dead or prison at, when I was 15. So I looked at it like I'm going through all this shit as a child and ain't nobody coming to save me now. 
even my own mama. So I know for a fact, if I, you know, do something to go to go to juvenile at the time, I know for a fact that, you know, y'all ain't going to do shit for me when I get locked up. So it wasn't no purpose in me doing a crime because I already know how that shit was going to turn out. Plus, I ain't, you know, I ain't had no baby mama like these niggas got. You know, to when they get out of jail. Or get, you know what I'm saying, get out of jail, get out of prison. He has where to go to like me. I, I get out of prison. I'm fucked up. I'll probably end up going to a homeless shelter or something, truthfully. But, yeah, that's um, why I never really got into the street life. Yep. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank y'all for listening. Be safe. Bye-bye.